I'd like to start by thanking Rosa for inviting me here tonight. Um, I'm not affected by what goes on in Chelsea, but I do have senior citizens for parents. I think this is absolutely wrong. Um, looking over this pamphlet, I live on the other side of the harbor. I do have the privilege of owning a vehicle. I can transport myself to and from work. Looking at this and knowing one day that I'm going to be a senior and looking at it to see a 175% increase on someone that doesn't have enough change to get a can of soup to eat dinner some nights, doesn't have enough money to put gas in their stove to cook or oil in their tank to heat themselves, that they have to take the last <coughs> bit of change and increase their pockets so they can get on the bus to go get that can of soup that they might not be able to afford because the bus hikes have gone up, and also to turn around and watch adults percentage go up 20% who can make a decision between taking the bus or buying a cup of coffee, it's outrageous. I'm here speaking because I'm looking over this room, there's more seniors in this room than young adults. I am privileged to be a young person who can walk, right. or we walk to a new bus stop or another train station to have these seniors sit here and suffer because of the MBTA and what they want to make, uh, as they call, fear hikes and cancellations of uh, different bus routes. It's just not fair. A lot of you executives sit here with your suits and ties who are probably costing you two, three hundred bucks per suit. It's not fair to have these jobs that you guys have the luxury to take the tea to the job. Do you pay for your bus ticket? Yes, or is it given to you yeah. from your job? I or does it come it. off of some agreement between you and your local where you're giving a dis discount at a rate that we don't have? i just like to finish saying that you seniors stick together one way or another. Your politicians will hear you because you are the ones that vote. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on.